Hi, it's Kara, and today we're looking at my extended book collection, books I have read. So I'm here at my mum and dad's and I thought I would take this opportunity to go through my extended collection because I do have a lot of books I own that have just never made it to my house and my many moves. Um, so today we're talking about those. First off, I want to talk about the books that I'm going to be taking with me back to my house. So these first books are books that are favourites of mine that I have had sitting here at my mum's house because my mum was tossing up whether she wanted to read them. I don't think she ended up actually reading any of these, but I'm finally taking them home with me. I do have another set of my favourites that she is still keeping, which will be what I talk about next, but these first ones are coming back with me. So first off we have the Richard Castle books based off the Castle TV show. I really like these books, bizarrely. So we have Heat Wave, Naked Heat, Heat Rises, Frozen Heat, Deadly Heat, and Raging Heat. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Uprooted by Naomi Novik. The Viral Series by Kathy Rikes. So we have book one, which is Virals. Seizure. And then I can't remember which is book three and which is book four, but there's Exposure and Code. Then we have The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater, which is like so good. We have The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue, and The Raven King. The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. I recently read Red Seas Under Red Skies, which is book two. The Sorcerer to the Crown by Zen Cho. I'm really looking forward to book two in this series. The Dragon's Eye by Douglas A. Steer, which is book one in the Dragonology Chronicles. I talked about book two and three in my TBR pile of this series which is either coming up soon or it's just been, I can't remember. I haven't decided on an order yet. But this is book one, which I have already read. And I really like these, they're really pretty. So I'm gonna put this on my shelf and then hopefully read book two and three decently soon. And finally, for these books that I'm taking home with me, we have The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon and The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. Yeah, these are great. And I have book three at home too. So those are the books I'm taking back to my house with me. Now let's move on to ones that are staying here. This final section are books that are really only here because my mum's looking to read them in the nearish future. So obviously she can't read them if they're in my house. So most of these are my favourites or have really pretty covers or I really enjoy them. Like these were are ones that would mostly totally be at my house. This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle with Laurie and Wayne Earle. Stiletto by Daniel O'Malley, which is the sequel to The Brook. Never Night and God's Grave by Jay Kristoff, which you've heard me talking about recently. The Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. Book one is The Kiss of Deception. The Heart of Betrayal and The Beauty of Darkness. The Crowns Game by Evelyn Skye. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. The Glass Sentence by S.E. Grove. This, um, I believe it's a Barnes & Noble edition, but it's, I got it here, I didn't get it in America. Yes, this is the Barnes & Noble edition of The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Then we have The House of Silk, which is a new Sherlock Holmes novel by Anthony Horowitz. And then Moriarty, which is the next new Sherlock Holmes novel by Anthony Horowitz. Next we have Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, as well as Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Empire of Storms by Sarah J Mass, Prisoner of Night and Fog and also Conspiracy of Blood and Smoke by Anne Blankman. Falling Kingdoms and Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes. Then I have a bunch of Kathy Reich's adult novels. So we have uh, Mortal Remains, this was an arc, Flesh and Bones, Bones Are Forever, Bones of the Lost, Bones Never Lie, and Speaking in Bones. Then we have the Tealing Trilogy by Erica Johansson. So the first one is The Queen of the Tealing, The Invasion of the Tealing, and The Fate of the Tealing. And after all that, we finally come to the last book, and that is, of course, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. If, this is everyone's favorite but also my favorite when people ask what's your favorite book it's this it's so good i'm actually really keen to like reread it on audiobook i want to do that please tell me if the audiobook is any good so these next books are books that will be remaining here in my mom's house for the time being um i have read them all already but let's show them to you <laughs> so first uh first off i want to mention a lot of these are series especially this first section, um, these first few, and 
they're the kinds of things that I want to save to like read to my kids or whatever even though they're, they're just like middle grade things that I loved when I was growing up so I'll show you. First off we have the Charlie Bone series by Jenny Nimmo so book one is Midnight for Charlie Bone, The Time Twister, The Blue Boa, The Castle of Mirrors, Charlie Bone and the Hidden King, Charlie Bone and the Wilderness Wolf, Charlie Bone and the Shadow of Bad Luck, and Charlie Bone and the Red Knight. Diana Wynne Jones's A Tale of Time City, the Homeward Bounders, also by Diana Wynne Jones. Journey to the River Sea by Eva Ibbotson. Amazingly old copy of Heidi by Joanna Spirey. This is my favorite book when I was a little kid. This is The Mr. Pink Whistle Stories by Enid Blyton. They're so good. Danny the Champion of the World by Roald Dahl. First Test, which is book one of Protector of the Small by Tamora Pierce. The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants by Amber Shares. The box set of The Hitchhiker's trilogy there's five of them so there is the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy the restaurant at the end of the universe uh life the universe and everything so long and thanks for all the fish and mostly harmless by douglas adams hamlet by shakespeare this is my high school study copy abandoned by meg cabot the silver donkey by sonia hartnett the Donkey Who Carried the Wounded, what a theme there, by Jackie French. <laughs> then we have the Confessions of Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Renison. So this is a bind up of book one and two, which were Angus Songs and Full Frontal Snogging and It's Okay, I'm Wearing Really Big Knickers. I also have the rest of this series, Knocked Out by My Nunga Nungas, Dancing in My Nutty Pants, and That's When It Fell Off in My Hand, and Then He Ate My Boy in Trances, Startled by His Fairy Shorts, Love is a Many Trousered Thing, Stop in the Name of Pants, and the final book are these my bazoomers I see before me. I also have Louise Renison's other series, which is the Misadventures of Tallulah Casey series, uh, which is like George Nicholson's cousin, which is Withering Tights, A Midsummer Tights Dream, and The Taming of the Tights. Next we have the Del Toro Quest series by Emily Rodder. I have a weird set. For some reason I don't have book one here. I couldn't find it. But I have book two, The Lake of Tears. Book three is The City of the Rats. Then we have The Shifting Sands, Dread Mountain, The Maze of the Beasts, The Valley of the Lost, and Return to Del. I also have book one of the second Del Toro Quest series, which is Cavern of the Fear, which has a movie cover thing. <laughs> I then have nearly all of the Princess Diaries series, but for some reason I'm missing book nine. I think I read it from the library and never ended up owning it myself, but I have every single other one. So that is The Princess Diaries, Take Two, Third Time Lucky, Mia Goes Fourth, Give Me Five, Sixational, Seventh Heaven, After Eight, and Ten Out of Ten. I believe these have different names in the US versions, but that's what mine are. I then have the Molly Moon series by Georgia Byne, which is Molly Moon's Incredible Book of Hypnotism, Molly Moon Stops the World, Molly Moon's Hypnotic Time Travel Adventure, Molly Moon, Mickey Minus and the Mind Machine, Molly Moon and the Morphing Mystery, and Molly Moon and the Monster Music. Then we have Accidental Death of an Anarchist by Dario Fo, which is a play I read for... Wait, is it a play? Play? Yes play that I read for literature in high school. The Mask by Patricia Bernard, which I read in primary school and absolutely loved. Playback by Raymond Chandler, which I studied for a criminology class in uni. The entire Fairy Named Freddy series by Jackie French, which is like the cutest thing ever and something I'm totally going to get my kids into. The first one is A Fairy Named Freddy and Other Stories to Eat with a Banana. Freddy and a Frog Named Bruce and Other Stories to Eat with a Watermelon. Freddy and the Zombie Librarian and Other Stories to Eat with a Blood Plum. Freddy and the Temple of Gloom, A Story to Eat with a Mandarin. Freddy and the Leopard Skin Librarian, A Story to Eat with a Dinosaur Apple. Freddy and the Purple Pyramid, A Story to Eat with a Passion Fruit. Freddy and the F Vampire Footy Team, A Story to Eat with an Orange at Half Time. And Freddy and the Ghostly Underpants, A Story to Eat with a Mango. These are freaking amazing. <laughs> then we have the Airhead Trilogy by Meg Cabot. So book one is Airhead. And then there's Being Nikki and Runaway. These are the weirdest series. Look them up, they're weird. How to Be Popular by Meg Cabot. And then this weird set 
I don't know what happened, but it's a weird set of books in the series. I thought I owned all of them, but they're not there. So this is the Stormbreaker series, the Alex Ryder series. I don't have Stormbreaker here for some reason, which is book one. Love the movie. But I have book two, Point Blank. Book three, Skeleton Key. Book four, Eagle Strike. And book eight, Crocodile Tears. I don't know. I've read most of, I, I've read up to Crocodile Tears though. I haven't read any of the ones beyond that, but I've read all of those. So I just cleared off these shelves behind me and some other shelves around and we're starting a new stack. So first off we have literally the original, almost original editions of every Harry Potter book that came out in Australia. They really bashed up because like I was a child when I was reading these, but we have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This one's contacted, it was falling apart. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This one is literally the hideback is held together with contact because the whole cover ripped off. So. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I also have Quidditch Through the Ages. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And the Tales of Beetle the Bard in their original Australian covers. Then I have The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I actually can't remember whether I've read this or not. This might technically be a TBR book. I'm not sure. And then to complete that shelf, we have the Twilight series, which yes, I, I still own. Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. <laughs> New Moon. Eclipse. Breaking Dawn. And I also have the novella The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. Then we have the Children of the Lamp series. This is another childhood series that I adored. So we have, oh, they're by P.B. Kerr, and the first one is The Arcanaten Adventure, The Blue Jinn of Babylon, The Copper King of Kathmandu, and The Day of the Jinn Warriors. Now the childhood favourite, which I should buy the second one off. There is a second one, I think, of this series. This is Endymion Spring by Matthew Skelton. It's a great middle grade book. Can't remember much about it, but I remember loving it. And another great middle grade series, which I believe there's much more in this series, but I don't own anymore, I don't think. This is The Sisters Grimm by Michael Buckley, and the first one is The Fairy Tale Detectives and The Unusual Suspects. Next we have the rest of these, I believe, are more books I've received, I've gotten and read more recently, but before I moved out of home or early after moving out of home and I was still fluidly moving my books around while I lived while I lived on campus. So these are just gonna stay here because I don't have the space for them. The Time Traveler's Almanac by Anne and Jeff Vandermeer or edited by Anne and Jeff Vandermeer with a bunch of different authors. Dangerous Women by George R. R. Martin and Gardner Dozois, edited, sorry, by, uh, with another whole bunch of, of interesting authors. The Curiosities by Maggie Stiefvada, Tessa Grattan and Brenna Yovanoff. Monstrous Affections, which is an anthology of beastly tales edited by Kelly Link and Gavin J. Grant. And we have Rogues, also edited by George R. R. Martin and Gardner Dozois, with stuff from a whole heap of authors. Then we have The Secrets of the Eternal Rose Trilogy by Fiona Paul. Book one is Venom. Book two is Starling. And book three is Belladonna. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. The Last Girl by Michael Adams. The Warp series by Ian Colfer. This first one is The Reluctant Assassin. And book two is The Hangman's Revolution. Endgame The Calling by James Frey and Nils Johnson Shelton. I keep meaning to unhold this, but I actually really enjoyed reading it. I'm just mad. I think it's also really pretty. I probably will end up unhauling this at some point in time. I have already read it. I'm not going to continue the series because of the James Frey drama. Um, I just wish these were not published with James Frey because this was actually really fun. And then we have uh, this bind-up of The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. The Disreputable History of Frankie Landau Banks by E. Lockhart. Just One Day and Just One Year by Gail Foreman. Fire and Flood and Salt and Stone by Victoria Scott. I've never noticed a third one of these coming out. Did it have a third one? Let me know. Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, The Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins, so I have this movie version of The Hunger Games, and then I have Catching Fire and Mockingjay. All Fall Down by Ali Carter, Reboot and Rebel by Amy Tintera, Rebel, Rebel, don't know. 
Amy and Matthew by Cammy McGovern, Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, Beetle Meets Destiny by Gabrielle Williams, and Tom Appleby Convict Boy by Jackie French. Oh, I thought this was James Marston. No. No, this is Jackie French. I talked about um, a James Marsden book in a different, in my honor haul, and I thought this was by him as well. I mentioned about that there, but no, it's by Jackie French. But this is that book, but better. So read this one, not that one. The Divergent series by Veronica Roth, Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, and I also have the set of novellas for. Forgotten by Cat Patrick, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan, Half Moon Investigations by Ian Colfer. The Dark Hills Divide by Patrick Carmen. I'm honestly really tempted to try and get my hands on the rest of this series because I remember this being gorgeous. It also has decorative edges. Alice in Tumblrland by Tim Manley. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. Struck by Lightning by Chris Colfer. And finally, this old beat up version of Jane Eyre, which is my high school studying version for literature. Obviously by Charlotte Bronte. So those are all the books that I've previously read that are located here at my mum's house, some of which obviously are moving back with me, um, and the rest are staying here. Uh, in future there may be some more shift arounds, mum might actually read some of these ones that are here for her and they might come with me, or she might kick my books out of the house and then I'll come with me and I'll find somewhere miraculous to put them. But yes, that's it. Those are the books. Thank you for watching. I know it's probably been an insanely long video, but thanks for sticking with me. Comment down below if you've read any of these and want to chat with me, and if you haven't already. And otherwise, I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!